will remove the stiffness. Take it back as back as possible. If you, if you cannot reach back completely, stand here. That's completely fine. No worries. Take your head back and look at your hands. Now release your hands. Again bend the knees. Then see you are pushing your buttocks back, down, slowly and slowly. If you can reach the hands to the ground, that's completely fine. Now the hands are not reaching the ground. Take the block, place it on the block. If this is easy, then try this. If this is difficult, try this. If this is also difficult, try this. Lift up the head. Fine. Now take your blocks back next to the feet. Here. Fine. Place your hands here. Now observe your right foot is in the first, is in the front. Now you will take your left foot. You have both the hands are on the block. Raise the left. Push it back. Tucking the toes. This is called tucking the toes. The toe support. Put your knees down. Look forward. Adjust your height accordingly and make yourself comfortable. Always make sure the knee and the ankle are in a straight line. Do not take it too forward. Because this is a modified version, it will give you a little easier posture. Fine. Push this part down. Stay in the position. Now again, you can roll it this or bend forward. Roll it this. I always recommend to remove the block in the third, in the next step. That is, place your hands. Then slowly, try to take your leg like this. Do not take it like this, okay? Try to take like this, which is difficult, I know. If it is not possible, take your hands out. Then take it back, tuck in. Come to this posture. Now, move a little forward. Slowly raise the knees up. Then again, knees down. Go back completely and down and down and down. If you cannot do this, you can do this also. It is also fine. So till now, it's complete. Right? So this is my fifth step. And here, this is my fifth step. For my sixth step, go forward. Observe my knees and toes are in the same position. My hand is in the same position. Once it is fixed, it is fixed. Do not move your hands. Do not move your toes. No. It is here. Come forward. Now, this is a little difficult one. But do not worry. Slowly, you have to bend the elbow. Bring your chest and chin down. This will be a little difficult in the beginners. So, what is that you can do? Is now bring your stomach in and then do like this. This is a modified version. This will help you a little, but you should not stick on to this. You should learn the right method also. But in the beginning, do this. If you cannot even do this, also do this. Do not take your hands out. Take your hands here. Hands next to the chest. Here. The toes are tucked in. Next. Raise up. And up completely. The knee support. You can give the knee support. If you are okay, remove the knee support. Or give the knee support. Here. Now, the next step. See, again, your hand and the toes are in the same position. Raise the buttock up, up, up. See, look at the heels. The heels, I'm pushing it down. Now, you might feel like changing like this, doing like this. Do not do. Spread the finger, press it. If you cannot push the heels, stay. You will slide. The man will need to slide. Do not worry. It will happen. So now what you do? You are feeling very difficult. Give your, bring your feet little forward. That's it. Look up and stay. Then slowly put your 
head down and stay. Again it is sliding. Try to adjust, adjust, adjust and stay. Now lift up the head. Slowly both the knees. Observe the knees. It has to go down. Together is very important. Then move back. If you cannot go down completely like this. Elbows touch the ground, forehead touch the ground and stay. The next one. So which leg was in front? My right leg was in front. Again I have to take the right leg front. Now with the hand you have to, the hand should be there and you have to take your leg front. Most of us, it may not happen in the beginning. So what you do? Take your hand, adjust, bring it forward or if it is not happening, bring it here. Crawl, 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 right here. That's it. It will take time. It will not happen in single day. Now your hands are here. Now you are taking the support of your blocks. Always keep your blocks next to you. Accessible easily. Just come to this position. Now you have to bring your left leg front up. Raise it up first. Then move forward up and bring it here. The hands are here. Look forward. Then again, join the hands, take it back, the knees. This is your step one. I mean, the first round, the 12 steps is completed. will combine the Bija Mantra and the postures. So in this, you start with the right and the left. One round, one round, two rounds to start with. Then you increase it. Four rounds, six rounds, eight, ten and twelve finally. Okay, the twelve rounds of Surya Namaskara is recommended every day for your practice. Healthy routine. I'll see you all in the next section. We learn the Vita Mantra together. Namaste. Okay. Now I'll show you the Vita Mantra with the Surya Namaskara 12 steps and the 12 Vita Mantra which will be useful for you. I'll show you the one round. Please do watch with your blogs or you can just watch them in hand. Follow. Fine. Om Mitra
Stay blessed. Sarvejiva Sukhino Bhavantu.